Hey guys, my name is James Farah. Um, just kind of reflecting on my trip from SGU and just going to talk about post F1 life. Um, it was great meeting all the students at St. George's University. Um, I had a great time down there. Um, it was wonderful being at Container Park and kind of having the nostalgia of getting back there. Um, it was also great to talk to some students and kind of get everyone's idea and their fears and anxieties over this test. Um, and I think that we had a really good speech and I think we had a really good um, time meeting everybody and I thought that all the festivities afterwards went great. Um, it's really cool that the campus has developed so much over the past few years. You guys, the incoming students are so lucky to have all these new facilities. It's great. Um, in the meantime, I would just like to talk about a little bit of the day in the life. Um, just talk about what I'm doing and you know where I am in my application. So I am a fourth year medical student and next week or so, I'll be submitting my residency application. I'll be applying to interventional radiology. Um, there's about 83, 84 programs. Um, and I'll be applying diagnostic radiology with hopefully an early specialization as a backup. Um, right now I'm rotating at Emory Decatur, which is in Decatur, Georgia. Um, right now I'm in between rotations, but I start neurology next week on Tuesday, um, barring that the hurricane doesn't um, bode my travels. After that, um, starting September 28th, I'll be doing an interventional radiology rotation at Emory Main Campus, and then I'll be returning to my hometown in Jacksonville um, to the Mayo Clinic to do an oncology rotation there. Um, and hopefully by then I'll be full-fledged into interview season, and um, I just finished my Step 2 CK. I just got my score back today. Um, I'm pretty happy with my results. Um, and then hopefully by next March, I'll, I'll know where I'm going with my life and I'll know where I matched. And by June 6th, June 7th, I'll have graduated. Um, so my advice to you guys is to tell you that it does get better and things start to look up. The thing about step one is that it's so hardly pressed that the importance of it is so pressed that you, know, you can kind of get bogged down in all the pressure. Um, but keep up with your studies. Make sure everything's going well. Make sure you do your research on all the resources that you have available to you. Um, a day in the life of rotations is pretty nice. Um, basically, you'd wake up about 7.30, 7 in the morning, get to the hospital, go to rounds. Um, depending on what rotation you're doing for neurology, at least, you would be doing rounds at about you know, 7.30, 8 in the morning. And then you would just go and see patients, manage them, and fall on the doctor all day. Um, until until he lets you off it really just depends um in terms of other rotations in terms of like my surgery rotation it was pretty hectic i would be up at five in the morning and be there until five at night pretty much monday through friday and then take weekend call um it really just depends on what hospital and what preceptor you go to um but other than that my life has been slowed down a lot ever since step one and ever since step two has been finished um like I said, after my ERAS application is finished, um, that's pretty much all I have to worry about after that, except just going on interviews. So like I said, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to the med school coach or feel free to find me and message me personally at jfarah at sgu.edu. And I uh, look forward to hearing from you guys. Thank you.